Ahead of this uh, long holiday weekend, when Americans are likely to travel, let's bring back Meg Terrell, and we're joined by former FDA Commissioner Scott Gottlieb, uh, bringing him into the conversation. Doctor, welcome back. Thanks. Um, are there any precautions that people should take heading into this weekend when a lot of families will be traveling this, this weekend and through next week for winter break? I think just typical prudent precautions that you would take in a normal flu season to try to avoid sick contacts, keep your hands clean. Um, if this is circulating in the United States, it's probably circulating at a very low level. So your absolute risk is still exceedingly low. Now, from a policy standpoint, we want to find those cases so we can prevent larger outbreaks. If we don't start seeing cases next week or the week after in the U.S., do you believe that it could be contained and not coming into the United States? Is that even a possibility? I think the risk goes down dramatically the longer that we get without new cases in the U.S. I think that the concern is that cases were introduced some point in early January, mid-January, and they're now incubating, spreading. There might be dozens of cases. We wouldn't necessarily be detecting that right now. If we don't start to see those kinds of pockets grow, I think the risk goes down dramatically that we're going to have an epidemic, at least in this season. Very quick question. Would the passengers on that cruise ship in Yokohama have been better off if they'd let them get off? Absolutely. All right. Scott Gottlieb, thank you very much. Have a great long weekend. We appreciate it.